And the good folks at Lubbock Salvation Army teaming up with St. Francis Church to start a new program for teens who have aged out of the foster care system. The KMAX Katie Gray has a closer look at that tonight. Whatever it is that they need, we want to make sure that we service that need as a whole. The Salvation Army is partnering with St. Francis Church to pioneer a program called Passage for youth who age out of foster care. One of the struggles that I had was these individuals are so much like children. You know, most of, most of them had not completed high school, um, obviously because of, you know, what they had going on, you know, not a stable uh, high school to commit to, you know, things like that. So they would come here and really it just turns into this vicious cycle. The passage program is still fairly new. It was just established in April, but its purpose is to make sure that it supports those that aged out of the system and give them an opportunity to establish themselves, whether that's through higher education or job placement. There's two ways to do passage. Either you can be employed or be enrolled in school. I am employed and enrolled in school at the moment. Meet Christopher Nixon. At 18, he's holding down a part-time job and taking night classes, working towards becoming a psychologist to help others find the support he never found. And psychology is just always stuck there because every time I would go to a psychology appointment when I was young, and they always would say this one thing, they say they understand how you feel. No one can understand perfectly how another person feels because they have not lived these same experiences. Meet Alande, also 18 and enrolled in the program for less than four months. What has been your experience with the Passage program? Like, what do you think about it? I think it's good because, like, being here because, like, I've already, like, I have a job, you know, I save money to get a car. Um, I just passed my driver's test so, so I can um, buy a car, you know, so I can drive to and from work and not have to depend on others. Katie Gray, KMAC News.